Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Siddharth Azra and today we would be doing the problem more than n by k occurrence. So I don't think it is necessary to read the problem statement because the name of the problem is self-explanatory. So we need to find the count of the numbers whose number of occurrence is more than n by k. So let's have the very first test case of ours that is 3. So we can see that 3 now has a count of 1, then we have 1, 1 we have not seen up before up till this point. So we have 1 now, we have 2 now, 2 is not seen up till this point. So we have this, then we have 2 again, it is already seen, so we would just increment the count, then we have 1. We have again seen it, so we would increment the count, then we have 2, we would increment the count, then we have 3 and we would increment the count and then we have 3 again, so we would increment the count. Now what is n divided by k? So n is 8 and k is 4, so it is 2. So the number of elements whose occurrence is more than 2, that is 3 and 2. That is why the output is 2 itself. Let's go to the second test case also. So we have 2, 3, 3 and 2. So let's come down to the very first. We have not seen up till 2 up till this point. Then we have seen 3. So 3 is now initialized to 1. Then we have again 3 and then we are again seeing 2. And the value of n divided by 4, 4 divided by 3 is equals to 1 point something something something. So all the values which and we know uh, the count so it would be let's say it is 1.001 okay and all the elements which have greater than this value so it would be greater than this value because the occurrence can never be a decimal value so we know that the count would be more than equal to 2 so all the values so we have 2 and 3 that is why the output is 2 please remember this that the frequency of an element won't be, ever be in a decimal value okay it is not like in organization we have a concept of taking a leave for the half day taking a leave for the first half or second half it is here that the element would either be present or it won't be present. So the fre count frequency would be always an integer value. 0, 1, 2, these all values that they can attain. Okay, fair enough. Let's move forward. So as, so this problem is nothing. That is why it comes to the easy category. This is doing what it is said. So we need to count the values. To count the values, we need to remember if we have already seen it before or not. If we have not seen it, we would insert it. So if we want to, so basically the point is, the point of concern is we need to hash the values. Hash the values. In C++ we have something known as map or unordered map. In Java we have unordered map and all those. So we are doing it in C++ so we would be using unordered map with an average time complexity of constant and the worst time complexity would be big O of n. Okay, so I have seen this discussion in the comments area that why people are using map in spite of unordered map having, having a better time complexity and you have came up to this editorial. So there should be something for you which should be more than just an editorial. The point of concern is, see, if this was given in an interview, you would be judged based on the average case. So if you are given this in an interview, you should use unordered map. But if you are using this in an online assessment, the same problem is occurring in an online assessment, I would urge you that you should use map because the worst time complexity of map is log n and the worst time complexity of unordered map is big O of n. So using map in an online assessment is better. To be honest, if you want to just stand out in an interview, the using of map in an interview and then explaining why you are not using an ordered map would make you stand out. That yes, you know the fundamentals. Your fundamentals are very basic and up to the point. And if you want to read more about this, where from Siddharth know this and I don't know this, I would suggest to you that you read this article. I would urge you that you search for this. I won't give you the link. That is Blowing Up Unordered Maps by Neil Wu, a blog of code forces written by Neil Wu. 
please search it read about it and there is also a hack to not do this if you just tell up everything that is there in that article and use these all ideas you would definitely take an advantage over an interview even with this simple problem let's move forward so we would be using on road map i'm a very lazy person so would be using a just and then i would be saying unordered underscore map and then i would be using int comma int by the way just a quick heads up if you found this interesting and if you didn't knew before make sure to comment on this video that yes thanks adath for this so that i would also be motivated to just tell you more push my limits forward if people are appreciating you you would push up your limits so let's move forward enough of talk and then we would i would just name it as mp okay that is the map and then i would be getting the value so v is equals to n divided by k it would be already narrowed down to the integer value and for int i is equals to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus and then we would be using something like m of a of i plus plus so if the key does not exist it would create if the key already exist it would just keep quiet and increment the value and then we would be iterating by using a for each loop for in the map itself and if at any point e dot second that is the frequency is greater than the value what we would be doing is we would be incrementing the count at the end we would be just returning the count let's just compile it and see how many errors are we making seems correct and yes it's done so that's it for today hope you shower me with your comments Thank you everyone